When it comes to selecting a feeding tube, there are two questions that must be addressed. One, how long is the patient expected to require enteral nutrition? And two, where will the end of the feeding tube be placed? This is because we have short-term feeding tubes, which are meant to be used for less than six weeks, and long-term feeding tubes, which are meant to be used for more than six weeks. With these, we can feed into the stomach or small intestine. The short-term feeding tubes are named by combining the point of entry with the location of the end of the tube. Examples include the nasogastric tube, orogastric tube, and nasojejunal tube. The nasogastric tube and orogastric tube are the most common and are considered advantageous because they follow the normal digestive process and are easily placed at the bedside. They can also be used as a trial tube to see if a postpyloric tube or long-term feeding tube is needed. A disadvantage of all short-term feeding tubes is they irritate the nose, mouth, and throat and can therefore lead to significant discomfort and or skin breakdown. Another disadvantage of short-term feeding tubes is that they are easily dislodged by the patient, both intentionally and unintentionally, leading to delays in feeding and the use of valuable time. The long-term feeding tubes are often named by combining the procedure, the location of the end of the tube, and the word ostomy. Examples include the percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy, or PEG, and the percutaneous radiologic jejunostomy, or PRJ. Another relevant long-term feeding tube is the gastrojejunostomy, or GJ tube. A major advantage of long-term feeding tubes is they can improve the quality of life for the patient. This can be related to an increase in comfort since the nose, mouth, and throat will not be irritated. It can also lead to an improved ability to eat if that activity is feasible, and hiding the tube from view can increase self-confidence in public. A disadvantage is that placing a long-term feeding tube is much more invasive than a short-term feeding tube, leading to increased risk of complications from the procedure or sedation. There is also long-term risk of infection and or skin breakdown at the insertion site. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.